so let's talk about being an employee and an entrepreneur. This is probably one of the best ways to do things, but also one of the ways that can put you at risk um, mentally and physically because it's two different ways of thinking often and it requires a lot of time um, and it takes time to shift your brain into thinking in these different gears. And so, but a lot of people out there doing this, I know that I'm trying to do this, have a full-time job combined with a night or weekend um, endeavor. And so someone might moonlight as a photographer, teach by day and work as a tutor by night, or often people are doing, I know now, they, they have the day job and then they offer through, you know, their online coaching, something else. Um, and so there's a lot of strengths to this, right? Because as an employee, you often have employee benefits and the stability of an income that an employee has. And you have paid days off that could actually become the days where you do work on your entrepreneurship. And you can often get internal training. The hard part is, with all the cuts going on right now, that the day job might end up requiring more than 40 hours of work. Especially if you're a salaried employee, you're expected to get the job done, and often that takes more than 40 hours. And so that kind of sucks the energy from you that you might be working on your entrepreneurship stuff. So um, also, if you're in a high-touch work environment, this might require frequent physical presence. So if you have a day job, you may have to be physically somewhere else every day. You might not get a lot of telework. And that can be tiring. Um, and when you think about your personality type, um, if you are an introvert, for example, and you're in a high-touch environment, people are interacting all day, you're worn out when you come home, how are you going to put that good energy that you could have into another product for your entrepreneurship endeavor? So that's something to think about. Um, also, the time constraints. No matter what anyone says, no one can have it all. There's only 24 hours in a day. We all have to make choices. There's just too much good stuff to do. We all have to make choices. So there's time constraints, and the full-time job usually takes precedence. Um, so that can be a hard thing to sustain over time. It's also d difficult to balance organizational approaches um, with the creative innovations as an entrepreneur, and that's what we all find and we try intrapreneurship, right? Because there's certain processes and systems and standards you have to use inside an organization, not even speaking of the culture and politics within that organization. And so often it requires stepping out of that framework to think creatively and try to come up with new options. And so the brain really does have to switch gears um, when, when working on these types of things, even though it can leverage lessons learned from all different jobs and areas. So some of the opportunities, um, raises and bonuses from your day job can fund your entrepreneurial activities. And on um, the entrepreneur side, you have unlimited potential for growth. So you kind of have this great baseline, but you have this unlimited potential for growth when you combine employee and entrepreneur. And you can gain contacts through your organization that you might be working with on outside business. Now at the same time, um, that's a threat, right? You don't want to have a conflict of interest because if you have a conflict of interest, you know, your day job will get rid of you. Um, it's highly competitive out there. So it's best, you know, it's best if your day job is like IT guy and your evening job is a uh, photographer or something, two unrelated activities, but where you could leverage those relationships from work and from everywhere else um, to help your entrepreneurial activities. So the threats. Um, that day job cushion could leave at any time, right? There's layoffs. Even in government, um, there are layoffs and there are salary caps and there's benefit cuts. There's also the golden handcuffs um, that come along with being an employee. Um, working within organizations um, can thwart the growth of your outside business. And so I know how I've dealt with this. I cannot have an outside business in certain things because that's what I do in my day job. So I have all of these ideas, but I cannot follow many of them because they're prohibited because of my day job. Um, and I've made that choice because the day job is very lucrative and rewarding for me right now. Um, if that ever changes, well, then that's a decision I would make. And, of course, that, that fits into that conflict of interest category, and you have to be very careful with that, primarily because it boils down to trust. No matter what documents you sign, no matter if you think it's on the fringe and it's enough different, you have to be careful because this impacts trust, and 
you can't afford to lose trust with your organization, with the people you work with, um, whether or not you like them or not. That that's still a something to put first and foremost. In fact, I I would uh, suggest reading Speed of Trust by uh, Stephen R. H. Covey. I think his name is. It's it's the son of the Seven Habits Stephen Covey. Anyway, just some thoughts about being an employee and entrepreneur.